2 for the Toyota Racing Series, Ivan Lukashevich from the pole, Nick Foster from 2, Mario Farnbacher from 3, Scott Pye from 4. It's a reverse top 6 from the results from race 1. So Mitch Evans and race 1 winner Daniel Kvyat from row number 3. Alastair Wooten and Damon Leach alongside each other from row 4. A row 5 start for Englishman Alex Lynn alongside Australian Jordan Skinner. Nick Cassidy lines up next alongside Josh Hill. A row 7 start for Jamie McNee and Kotaro Sakurai. And completing the lineup, Kenny Smith and a troubled Earl Bamber who had some issues in race number one. Starting from the inside of the third row, Kivet, the race one winner from the outside of the third row. Reverse top six from race number one. The revs build up, waiting for the lights to go out. Lukashevich, great start from the front row. Good start from by Kivyat coming up to the inside as well. He may get third place going into turn one. That's a fantastic start from the young Russian. Evans is back there in the fifth position. Nick Foster immediately in front of him on board with Evans. Kivyat likes this track. He's won here already. He knows he's quick around here, but look at Foster. He's not going to let him go. So Lukashevich, the young Russian. We've got two Russians inside the top three. Mario Farnbacher. Splitting them, we got one off Alex, Alex Lynn. Lynn. Alex Lynn coming over. Nick Cassidy. Cassidy's gone off as well there. Nick Cassidy delayed. So things don't get any better for Nick Cassidy. Set the fastest lap in the first race of the weekend as uh, Funbacher is very defensive here on Kvyat. On board the Red Bull number 29. Kvyat shadowing him down the straight here. He's going to take a big lunge into turn, f turn seven coming up, I think. Mitch Evans looking to the outside and Nick Foster. Foster should have the line down into Dunlop and oh. goes straight to the inside. Mitch Evans. Lots Fo of rubber build up on the front tyres of Evans' machine. He gets the spot on Foster. That was a big pass. Foster just let it run too wide there. He's going to try and come back on Evans, but that won't work around turn one. Van Barker just pinched the left front brake into turn one. Kevin may have a run here. It's a very close racing there. Even Damon Leach is in there as well. So Damon Leach not too far away. Lukashevich trying very, very hard. The rear of the car just stepping out under brakes into splash. So just 12 laps. On board with Mitch Evans leading the championship. Oh, something just came off. It looks like a sticker or, or something came off the car there and it's just lodged itself on Foster's car. Yeah, but it's gone now. Is so. that a rear wing element no, maybe? But, um, Sure, it looks something plasticky or carbon fibery there, a bit solid, but Evans' car doesn't look to be out of shape. I don't know what that was, but obviously it came off the Evans' car as the right colour. Well, we'll have to keep an eye on that because the rear wing has two elements on that rear wing. It'd be great to get a shot. That looked like I think one of the E-Tech cars running wide as Dallas Dear Wooten is in the pits. Problems with the left rear corner of the Radio Hierarchy car. That could have been a, uh, a legacy of that little Lynn incident going into uh, turn around turn three and turn four. Certainly looks like both rear wing elements are on Mitch Evans's car, so it's hard to see what that was that got caught up with the cars behind Alex Lynn, continuing on up that early race off, back on board with Mitch Evans. Certainly hasn't lost any speed. Doesn't seem to be bothered at all. I can't see anything wrong with the car there at all. Maybe it was just a, uh, a decal from the from the car somewhere. Well, I know Alex Lynn picked up one of the the marker cones. We're going to have a look at a replay here. The so this is on board with Evans. It's from underneath the car, it looked to be. What is that? On the other, I was just about to say when Alex Lynn went off at the hip and it picked up one of the marker ah, posts on the inside of the track. I wonder if that's been picked up on the outside, got caught up underneath Evans' car as he's come back around the next lap. Maybe that's what's been dislodged, but certainly not affecting him at the moment as Scott Pye trying to go to work on Damon Leach battling for position. Pye again running wide there. He got very sideways. I just caught sight of it a couple of laps ago. Good to I was just still looking at the Evans car to make sure. Perhaps you're right, Jamie. Perhaps that was just uh, like going down through roadworks and catching a cone <laughs> and finding it fall off a couple of k's later. So Nick Foster still right there with Mitch Evans. He's not too far away off the rear wing of the young Russian. Still Lukashevich out in front and Farnbacher. Back on board with Daniel Kvyat. Very impressive in his first race win of the weekend. Seemed to have Mitch Evans pretty much covered. A great deal of relief in, the, in uh, his uh, his eyes as well after winning a race at last, which is really what he wants to do here. They're building up now down this back straight to a phenomenal speed, 235, maybe even 240 k's before they go into the bend. Look at the right front uh, tyre of Kvyat's. 
car there. It looks to, is that um, just maybe pick up, maybe build up of, uh, of of loose rubber on the tire. Well, we did see that a little bit in race one off the onboards with him and Mitch Evans. Mitch Evans didn't look to be having so much of a problem, but just in the early shots of this race, Evans looks to be struggling with a similar problem with so much rubber built up around the circuit. Alex Lynn and Josh Hill, the two young English drivers, a little bit of a touch there. Now that forced that's forced Alex Lynn just. A little too wide. I think he was a bit ambitious coming around there. Uh, Josh Hill had the line and he was going to stay there. Oh, uh, that's Jordan Skinner. Jordan Skinner. He's parked it in the gravel. Will that bring out a safety car to close the field up? Well, Jordan Skinner has had a nightmare at turn one this weekend. He seems to be very, very attracted to the uh, to the tyre barrier and he's had a very good close up of the tyre barrier very often this weekend. Got the call on race radio. You can see the lights in the background. The safety car will come out on the race circuit to retrieve Jordan Skinner's car. Lukashevich just acknowledging the lights and the flags. So just approaching the halfway mark of the second race of the weekend for the Toyota Racing Series. Ivan Lukashevich leads from Mario Funbaku with Daniel Kvyat in third. The safety car for Jordan Skinner. Toyota Racing Series on 3Sport. The Lexus F-Sport safety car peels off into pit lane and we are back under racing conditions. Restart for the Toyota Racing Series, second race of the weekend. Well, Josh Hill got a bit wide there. I hope he didn't go across that uh, start line uh, first. He uh, he should have really gone second and that looks like... Kevin wow. trying to go the long <laughs> way around, but it's opened up the door for Mitch Evans to the inside. That's all Mitch Evans needed. Mitch Evans on a racing uh, a racing restart, just wonderful, isn't he? Kivat was really caught out there. He tried to get in front of, of Lukashevich, but uh, left the door open for Evans to come through. Oh, Damon Leach, he's got up to the fourth spot. Back in there with Nick Foster back on board. The now third place, Daniel Kivat. The Red Bull number 29, Mitch Evans. Can he get to Ivan Lukashevich? Oh, as Foster pulled out from behind Leach and he's... made contact and it's damaged the front wing of the number 13. The front wing is hanging down now. He may not know that um, straight away because he might not be able to feel it, but he certainly will feel it when he goes around the sweeper at the end and loses downforce at the front. Just looking at the right front corner of Damon Leach's car too, that right front wing end plate looks to be flapping around a little bit too. There's Josh Hill. Foster's going to have to be very, very, very careful of that. Look at that going down the to outside. To the outside of Mitch Evans, down towards Toyota. He's trying to come one. across, but Evans has closed the door on him. Evans has just slammed that door shut. Well, that's going to help Lucas Shavich with just three laps left to go here. Kivya trying to get another run down through to the S's. Look at Damon Leach as well, right behind them. He's in this fight as well. So it's Lucas Shavich. Here comes Leach. Down the, the inside, inside of Kivyat. And on the outside, Kivyat's coming back at him on the inside now. Yeah, just ran it in a little bit deep to David Leach. So the Russian back into the third spot. Says Leach has gone to the outside. He's going to try and do the same thing. He's just, just going to try and drift underneath Kivyat on the way out of here. But he doesn't get as, as much drive on the inside of the track as Kivyat does on the outside. So Kivyat gets just a little bit, uh, breathing space on him. Well, that's taken a little bit of pressure immediately off Mitch Evans. He's got about a four car length advantage out of that little stoush between Leach and the Russian through to the hairpin. Lukashevich looking for his first win of the championship to become the sixth different winner for 2011. Well, Lukashevich will be very pleased to see them battling behind him because they're too busy amongst themselves to worry about him. Alex Lynn there got out of shape just going into turn one. There's Farnbacher trying to salvage something out of this race. Foster's continuing on with that damage front wing in the number 13. He's in amongst all of the E-Tech Motorsport team cars, immediately ahead of Jamie McNee, who had some electrical problems in the first race of the weekend. Now, hopefully Foster has kind of got used to the slightly different handling of that car at the front end, and he's, uh, he's going to try and drive through it. But I, I suspect they may well bring him in very soon, because that could be seen as dangerous. So Lucas Shavich with a handy advantage over Mitch Evans with just a couple left to go here at Manfield. Cassidy on the charge. Sent one up the inside there and he's done it. To the inside of it. McNee. Cassidy, one of the fastest drivers on track before that restart, but obviously didn't have track position going off in the hairpin in the first lap. Call on race radio, the car 13, Nick Foster will have to pit with that damaged front wing, which he does now. He sees it at the last moment there. <laughs> I'm not sure he knew that straight away, but he certainly made a good effort to get into that pit lane. So battles right through this field again. Alex Lynn 
and Jamie McNee side by side. Nick Cassidy just ahead of them. And McNee just kept uh, Alex Lynn out there, put him on the wrong side of the track, but Alex is still right up with him. He's going to try something if they go into the hairpin. Well, Lucas Shaver just got good car speed right now, Bob, because he's just hit the fastest lap of the race at a 64.581. Oh, as Van Barker. Barker. Sending one up the inside of Alex Lynn. Oh, that was hold your breath stuff because he's come from a million miles back. That reminds me of what Mario Andretti saying, if you're completely into con under control, you're not fast enough. He was out of control and he was fast enough. Well, he's up into about the ninth position. He started probably 15th off the restart and in three laps, he's worked his way up inside the top 10. Evans again under pressure here from Daniel Kvyat for the second position as Lukas Shevich is going to take the last lap board on board the third placed Russian. There's Lukas Savic, last lap board, one to go, looking to add his name to the winner's list in 2011 for the Toyota Racing Series. Will he bother to try anything? He's still out of shape. He's been doing that all weekend, going into turn one, just, just getting out of shape, just losing the car under the braking. So there's Lukas Savic, well, he's taking control, Mitch Evans. Looking to tie up the International Series with this potential second place, but he's still got the intentions of Kvyat. And Damon Leach, an excellent performance from Damon Leach in this one. Yeah, it's a, a very good race from him. He's raced hard as well. So the Marussia Supercars, number five of Ivan Lukashevich to Higgins for the final time in race two. Josh Hill with a solid result. He's up into the sixth position. Here's Alex Lynn in the ninth spot. So Lukashevich taking control. He will be the sixth different winner for 2011. Good win for him. He needed that as well, just like Kvyat has needed his win, and a good win. Mitch Evans second, Daniel Kvyat third. Mitch Evans ties up the international series with the second win for a Russian in the Toyotas, really, truly making this an international formula. Absolutely. The Russians are coming, and they're here. Let's hope they keep coming back. So Ivan Lukashevich adds his name to the winners list for the Toyota Racing Series. Mitchell Evans in second ties up the International Series. Daniel Kiobat in third ahead of Scott Pye. Josh Hill, an excellent result in fifth. Nick Cassidy stormed his way through to sixth ahead of Jamie McNee, Damon Leach, Alex Lynn, and a disappointed Mario Farnbacher. I think, uh, yeah, that was an awesome race. I, I couldn't even dream of, yeah, something bigger. Well, a restart really to test you there. Uh, yeah, the restart was probably the, the, diff the most difficult part of the race uh, because uh, in the first half of the race I was making a good solid gap and then all of a sudden it disappeared. So it was a bit of a tricky moment in the last corner of the first uh, lap after the restart with Mitch Evans. I think we touched in, uh, yeah. But yeah, it all went really well for me. I'm, I'm happy. Our start wasn't too great, to be honest. Uh, we got a huge amount of wheel spin, um, just lack of grip, I guess. But uh, we just pushed on and made, you know, uh, we steadily made our way to the front. Um, the red flag and the safety car really helped us get up close with Daniel and Ivan. Uh, managed to get past Daniel and um, then had a go at uh, Ivan, but we made contact. Um, yeah, it was just one of those things and um, broke a little bit of my wing off. It's a very good race. We're really satisfied for that because I uh, was starting from P6, it's very far away compared to where I was starting yesterday. I did a, a great start. I was already third after the first corner. Then after the safety car, I was second. I tried to pass I, uh, Ivan, but uh, but uh, he kept well. He defended well his line. Then I got passed by Mitch because I went a little bit wide after I tried to overtake Ivan. So, uh, well, third place is quite good, I'm satisfied. Consider also that Mitch was starting P5, one position in front of me, it's good to come be behind him because uh, theoretically I should arrive behind him. But uh, yeah, shame that I couldn't uh, do that overtake because I was very close to pass on uh, first position. If I would do this, I, I think I would be able to run away.